You're listening to the Local Hustlers Podcast. East Valley Locals. Get connected with small businesses near you and dive deep into their stories, mindset, and motives. Entrepreneurs everywhere. Get ready to be inspired by business owners, entrepreneurs, and hustlers that you can relate to and learn from. And now, your hosts, Dallin Huso and Ridge Waldberg. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm with you. Awesome. Well, welcome everybody to the very first episode of the Local Hustlers Podcast. There we go, baby. <laughs> we're uh, we're excited to be here. Probably a bit nervous as well. Um, this is something, I'm shaking. <laughs> something we've talked about doing for a while and um, finally getting to it. Uh, so we kind of just wanted to start off with this episode to kind of tell you guys a bit about what this podcast is all about, um, kind of who it's for, and just a bit about us and our background because most of this podcast is going to be about our guests and what they're doing. So anyone who's interested in getting a little background on the two of us, this might be the episode for you. So Riz, do you want to kind of start off kind of what what this podcast is for, who it's for? Yeah, absolutely. So really, it's for everyone, but we we have a couple different people that you know, we're, we're trying to focus on and trying to help out. So first it's for the people that just love supporting their local communities by going to small businesses in the area and local businesses in the area. Specifically here in the East Valley. Right. Specifically, you know, the East Valley of Arizona, like Dallin said. And then, um, we also want to help out those young guns that are trying to be local hustlers in in their area Um, because we all listen to um, these big guys that have made their millions and even billions and they say oh just do this this and this it's super easy and then you get it done well it's like um, a lot of you want to listen to somebody that is in the midst of the grind and in the midst of the hustle Um, and so so we're hoping that this can help you um, if you're if you're at a point where you don't really know what to do and you're kind of stuck or if you're trying to figure out how to do something get something started um so we're going to be talking to people that are are more relatable than than the big guys um that are also doing really well so beautifully said ridge i mean do you have anything else to add (laughs) uh no that's about it like you said for uh Um, locals that want to support business and for entrepreneurs that want to hear from like-minded entrepreneurs that are kind of going through the same thing as them so hopefully that um, pretty much involves anyone that might be listening to this podcast Um, but yeah background bit about both of us we both kind of grown up in the East Valley for most of our lives Um, Reg and I have known each other since we were Nine, nine, nine years old. Nine years old. Um, and the rest is history, basically. The rest is history. That's we, right. We uh, gone to school together. Been in, been in touch. Been pretty much best friends ever since, since we've known each other. Um, Ups and downs, obviously. Yeah, you know, you know. little mistakes here and there, but <laughs> at the end of the day, we always came back to each other. So. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> through that, we've, I mean, I would say that we have a lot of similarities um, in our likes, our activities, our hobbies, but also a lot of differences in the way that we do things and think about things. So uh, I think that's something that we both bring to the podcast. We're as similar as we are in some senses. We both have different mindsets when it comes to certain things. So hopefully we can bring that out throughout these episodes. We'll argue a lot. <laughs> no, totally kidding. We don't argue. Um, but yeah, do you want to kind of, I guess, talk a bit about your career up until this point and where you are now yeah so i'm a multi-billion no i'm (laughs) just kidding far from that um so i guess in high school i um i ended up getting my lifeguard certificate and um started working at a gym as a lifeguard um and then a a friend kind of introduced me to um this little side hustle we could do with our lifeguard certificate where we were Um, going to uh, local people in the area they would have pool parties and um, they would want a certified lifeguard to come and kind of watch their kids and make sure that nothing bad would happen so we did that for a bit Um, and then kind of with meeting people and things like that I kind of just started doing it on my own I kind of had my little um, 
little connections with certain people and they'd call me up every summer or every few months during the summer or whatever it was and they'd say hey I'm doing a party again so I I had a little clientele with that which was pretty sweet and then um, I left for a little while to do some stuff for my church and then um, after I got home I kind of started that back up for a little bit I got my certificates again and then um, started reaching out to people and doing some more uh, lifeguarding for their their private pool parties or whatever it was um, super fun lots of cool things um, it was cool to work for myself and um, tell people how much they owed me and things like that I don't know just a lot of cool things um, and then I got a little experience with the uh, door-to-door sales um, classic and, yeah, classic yeah that's me and I did uh, I did pest control I sold pest control uh, door to door. I did not leave the state of Arizona. I stayed in the heat. Um, it was uh, it was definitely an experience. Um, a lot of fun, really hard. Um, it was it was a good time though. I met a lot of cool people. It it introduced me to uh, a whole different side of uh, sales and things like that. And it was a lot of fun. Didn't last too long until I started working um, for a political consulting firm. I, it was door-to-door stuff, so I was um, knocking on doors, taking surveys from people, um, getting uh, circulating petitions for candidates to get on the ballot and initiatives and things like that, and then I was doing some cold calls too. So much fun, guys. So much fun. And then I was about to say, this is pretty boring. But oh, yeah. Dallin's been yawning the whole time, just kind of looking around. If you know Dallin, just really distracted right now. But <laughs> no, just kidding. And then I uh, ended up working my way up a bit. I took on some other responsibilities. I was like a team leader and stuff like that. Um, had my own group of kids that would, people, sorry, individuals that would go out and, you know, do the same thing that I started out doing. And I had a lot of other cool opportunities with it. I, I'm super thankful for, um, for that time that, that I was, that, you know, I've been able to do the political stuff. Uh, awesome, awesome things I got to do. Learned, learned a ton of stuff. And I'm also a student right now. Mm. Yeah, I'm a student, uh, student of science. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a student at MCC, Mesa Community College, for those of you that don't know. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of a crash course right now. Um, I'll be hoping to get into nursing school. Good to hear. Good Dallin, to hear. would you like to share with us? I would. I would love to. So I guess my uh, career journey starts um, probably two years ago. I, I mean, throughout high school, I didn't really do much. My dad... Um, I was lucky enough that my dad on the side owned a uh, pool building consulting company. Um, <clears throat> and so I kind of helped him really all, all growing up and throughout high school and learned a lot about working hard and just working in general. So that's how I was able to um, to make money throughout high school. I never really had a, a real job in the sense. Um, so about two years ago, it was finally time for me to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with my life. Um, and I really had no idea what I was going to do. So... Um, in, in a one-year span, I did pretty much everything you could think of. I took <laughs> a semester of school online. Um, I went full-time um, to school for another semester. Um, went through five or six jobs in that first year from cleaning pools to fast food to Uber Eats. Um, a couple different sales jobs going door-to-door. Almost left the state doing um, pest control yeah, sales. We, we almost did that together. Um, even filled up vending machines for a, a little time period there. Um, and through all that, all that school, all those jobs, the only thing that I learned is that I didn't want to work for someone and I didn't want to go to school. Um, I didn't really know much else, but at that point, I kind of realized that I have um, kind of an entrepreneurial mindset. Um, and up to that point in life, I didn't really know much about being an entrepreneur um, other than you own your own business. So um, with that minimal knowledge, I decided to start up two businesses last year. Um, one focused on a passion of mine and another focused more on something that um, I would consider a skill of mine, something that I have a lot of experience with. So um, <coughs> still running both those businesses today, and here we are starting starting our third one. Um, but throughout this past year, um, obviously as an entrepreneur, you have a lot of alone time, a lot of time 
by yourself. And uh, if anyone knows me, I don't like being alone. I don't like silence. I love noise. Um, so I started listening to audiobooks and podcasts um, to kind of get my education just because I, I didn't want to go to school doesn't mean I didn't want an education. I just um, kind of struggled with the classroom platform. Um, so yeah, I kind of fell in love with uh, with podcasts throughout this past year. Um, I learned a ton of great stuff um, from a lot of super successful businessmen. Um, but like Ridge mentioned before, sometimes I, I felt like some of these guys were so high up that they kind of forgot what it's like to be down in the trenches. Um, I kind of was missing kind of that role model, someone that I could look up to, but at the same time that I could see eye to eye with, someone that was going through the same things as me. Um, so that was something that I was yearning for, I guess, throughout this past year of, of being an entrepreneur. Um, I still learned a lot. Obviously, I also made a ton of mistakes, things I wish I would have done differently. Um, but throughout this this experience, I've grown a passion for local business. Um, I've started to understand and appreciate what all these successful local business owners and entrepreneurs have had to go to to get to where they are or what they're currently going through um, to have a successful business. And so I wanted a way for all of us to be more connected um, and to connect us more easily to you know the people around us that don't even know that some of these businesses um, even exist. Um, so for me, this podcast was a way to, number one, um, connect a local audience starting here in the East Valley um, to local businesses by them telling their story and talking about the cool and unique parts about their businesses. Um, and number two, to allow entrepreneurs like myself and like anyone else that's listening that has any sort of interest in entrepreneurship um, to be inspired by the success and failures um, and all the cool stories that we're excited to hear um, of these entrepreneurs. And although everything we'll, we'll listen to will probably be you know a different business, um, than what you might want to go into. I think there's a lot of similar lessons that we can learn um, from each other and, and what we go through. Yeah, awesome. Um, so for myself, kind of my drive into like why I want to do this, I'm a big uh, I'm a big why person. Like I was always that little kid that always asked my mom, why, 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 why? Um, why is the color green? Why is the color red? Um, everything like that. Um, so I love I love asking questions and I love a story. So I love hearing about things. I love hearing why things happen and how it happened and, and just everything. Um, so so that's, that's a big motivation for me um, as to why I want to do this. I want to do this to just understand how and why and what, what really motivated them, what got them through hard times, what um, you know made them who they are now. And um, that's... That's a big, a big thing. I've always, I've always wanted to just know more about how it's, how it's become and how it's still happening. Um, I myself am a, a scaredy cat of taking big risks. Um, as you can tell, Dallin just does it. Like, it, like he said, he had so many jobs through a short period of time, and then he's just like, you know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna start my own thing. Yeah, that's not me. Um, I don't know how many times I told Dallin I would quit a job um, and like two years later I'd still be at that same job and I think every time we would see each other which is every day he'd be like so have you talked to your boss yet and it's just like uh, yeah I'm gonna do that um, I'll get right back to you so I'm a big scaredy cat um, I hate taking big risks um, I'm scared of just going for it um, so I want to learn from these entrepreneurs how to just go for it. Um, because yeah, this is, this is something that we're starting, so this is a big risk for me. Um, so this is a small step, but I wanna take another small step and then eventually uh, start my own thing, um, start, start doing something else. I don't know what it is yet, but um, with asking all my questions and with um, listening to all these individuals that we're going to be talking with over the, the course of, of, of a while, I want to be able to, you know, take what you guys are learning is, is what I'm going to be learning too and do something with that. And um, so you guys can hold me to it that um, by the end of this or by who knows when, I'll, I'll figure it out and I'll get back to you on it. But I want to I wanna have started my own company um, so yeah, everyone hold me to that. Dallin's gonna hold me to it. I, I want to start something with, with all that I learn. Um, I also just love what small business does for 
um, our our local government, our local um, economic system, and and just where we live, where we are. I love that it it helps the people where we are. I love that it can it can change lives around us. Um, local businesses are are a good source of localizing assets, localizing individuals. Um, so you're keeping your money local, you're keeping um, your individuals, you know, where they are, closer to home, closer to their families. Um, and it's just, I just love the fact that small business can help out um, everyone in that community and it keeps the resources in that community. It provides tons of jobs um, tons of jobs that can't be provided otherwise. It's just the American dream, you know. We all dream of, you know, doing our own thing or working for someone cool and being able to know our boss and being able to know the owner. And I think that's just so cool that there's so many people um, that that do that right in right in our backyard, right in um, right in the good old towns and cities that we live in. Um, so I, I just love what small business does. I love how it just keeps the economy going. Um, I don't know, Dallin, what do you got to say? Well, it was beautifully stated, right? <laughs> I couldn't say it better myself. Um, yeah, I guess like I, I mentioned earlier, I didn't really know much about um, entrepreneurship and what it meant. Um, I barely even knew what, what the word meant. I think all growing up, the most I'd ever heard entrepreneurs um, from a Spongebob episode where Spongebob and Patrick <laughs> decide to sell chocolate and be entrepreneurs and <laughs> that's all I knew about it. It's something about chocolate salesmen. So um, yeah, it was interesting. I never really was taught anything about it in high school or maybe I was and I just wasn't paying attention. Um, Probably that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, but it wasn't really until, I mean, I experienced it for myself, kind of figuring out what an entrepreneur is. Um, I think it's fascinating that everyone that I've talked to so far kind of has a different opinion of what an entrepreneur is. Um, some people think that you're either born with it or you're not. Some people say it's not for everyone. And then others say that we're all entrepreneurs in some sort of way and that there's just you know different types, different styles of entrepreneurs. So um, I'm, I'm eager to, to hear all these local business owners and entrepreneurs and kind of get their take on what it really means to be an entrepreneur so we can all um, understand that a, ba- a bit better. Um, I saw a statistic the other day that said in a survey taken that two out of every three people would like to be an entrepreneur. Um, but only one out of every 18 of those people actually own their own business. So there's a big gap in uh, the desire of people that want to be an entrepreneur and then the people that are actually doing something about it and, yeah. and owning their own business. So hopefully, um, you know, with listening to this podcast, uh, you can get something out of it. You can you know, hear some tips and tricks, be motivated by some of these people, by their successes and you know, also their failures to see what, what we can all do to either grow the business that we already have or kind of spark that desire that has been in us for a while and, and follow our dreams and do what we want to do. So, I mean, kind of in a nutshell, that's that's what we're we're here to do. That's what we're, what we're looking to, to do with this podcast. Um, and Ridge, do you have anything else to say before we, yeah, we finish up here? That's just the nutshell of it all. Um, we're just going to keep diving and diving deeper. So um, just with this, like, get out and support your local... Um, businesses get out and support you know your the economics of where you live localize everything shop small business go to small business support the people that that hustle for it every day Mm -hmm. Um, and also also support and maybe have some patience with us as we you know learn what we're doing here we're no no means professional podcasters or professionals when it comes to local business or entrepreneurs we we're here to learn just like you guys so that's why we're here asking the questions the Mm -hmm questions that sometimes we're all scared to ask because they're kind of dumb so um we'll take one for the team and ask those questions so we can all get the answers there that's right that's what i said i'm here to learn i'm here to start my own thing so um just be patient with us you'll love it we're we're all right okay yeah slightly above average slightly above average yeah (laughs) awesome well um we really look forward to starting this journey with you guys. Um, you know, hopefully some of you are listening. Um, we'll end up starting something and be able to be on this podcast one day. That's kind of the dream to... Me. Yeah, you. And everyone else. Everyone else, okay, too. Yeah, right. yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, we're excited, and let's get rolling on this. Let's get it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.